Bill Telepan and welcome back to Telepan TV. We're making more soups here. This one we're going to make instead of a tribute to my mom. Mom, I love you. And uh, she used to make us this uh, lima bean and potato soup when I was a kid. So, um, and I just made it recently at home and it came out kind of like hers. There's that extra mom love you need. But this one's going to come out really good. I'm going to show you how to do it because it's perfect on those really cold winter days. So here I got some white beans. You can use like my mom used the giant lima beans. These are white runner beans from Rancho Gordo that I've soaked overnight. They're beautiful. They're a little thicker, meatier than your regular white bean. And over here in the pot, I've started a little onion and garlic. And we're going to cook these beans with them in the stock. You, again, you can use vegetable stock, water, chicken stock. Chicken stock's really good with this one. Just gives it a little extra flavor. But again, if you're vegetarian, no worries. Have, have the... Um, use vegetable stock so and this one we're going to do is once the beans come to a boil and simmer and they're almost ready we're going to add some diced potato to it so like I said it's really hearty here so the dice, these are Yukon gold potatoes that I peeled and we're going to cut into a small dice again you don't have to fuss about them being perfectly shaped so for here you can just sort of I want you to use the whole potato so just dice them up like that you see how there's some odd shape that's fine and all because that'll just sort of break up and help thicken the soup. So don't worry about that. So let's just check the beans to see how they're doing. And it's simmering for about a half hour, 45 minutes, depending on the bean again. These are good texture. Not quite done yet, but almost there. Because we're going to add the potato, and the potato's going to need to cook about 10 minutes before before we uh, finish up here. Over here, I have some carrots that are cooking. Carrots are just cooked in a little butter until they're really tender. And here's where we're gonna make our, our roux, or our thickening agent for this soup. So I cooked it in about two tablespoons of butter, a pinch of salt, and carrots, that's seven to 10 minutes covered. And to that, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of flour. It's not too much, because the potato and the bean will thicken it nicely, but this will give it that stick to your ribs sort of feeling. Let that cook for about a minute or two, not too long. Maybe not on high flame, so just sort of get that raw flour flavor out. So I'm just gonna check the potato and see how it's doing. Perfect. So we're gonna take the, um, the carrots here, which were a bit thick and, you know, with the flour. I'm just gonna add this all together. So we let the soup cook for about a half hour until it gets really, you know, soft and comforting. Kind of like that part. Reminds me of being a little kid. <laughs> and that's just going to add a little milk to it. Now, if you have any dairy allergies, don't bother. It's about like about a half a cup of milk. Just again, to give it a little texture and flavor and creaminess to it. Just let that come back up to a simmer. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of a uh, mom's soup. Very delicious. There you go. Mama Telepan white bean potato soup. Thanks, Mom. See you next time on Telepan TV.